Japan, a land of contrasts, where ancient traditions coexist with futuristic innovation. A country that boasts a stunning array of attractions that spans the cultural, historical, natural and modern. From the bustling metropolis of Tokyo to the tranquil temples of Kyoto, the snow-capped peaks of Hokkaido to the sun-drenched beaches of Okinawa. We'll be exploring 50 of the most must-visit spots across this diverse nation. So, buckle up as we embark on a whirlwind tour of Japan's top 50 attractions. We start our journey in the heart of Japan's bustling capital, Tokyo, at the iconic Tokyo Tower. A monument of steel and light, Tokyo Tower is like a beacon of modernity amidst the city's skyline, offering a panoramic view that's nothing short of breathtaking. Next, we travel to Kyoto, the city of a thousand temples, to visit the Fushimi Inari Shrine. Here, a seemingly endless path of vibrant orange Torii gates winds its way up the mountainside, creating a site that's as enchanting as it is iconic. Then, it's off to Himeji, home to the spectacular Himeji Castle. Known as the White Heron for its elegant white exterior, this castle is a testament to Japan's rich architectural history. Our next destination takes us to the awe-inspiring Mint Fuji. This majestic peak with its snow-capped summit and serene surroundings is the epitome of natural beauty. From there, we venture to Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, a poignant reminder of the city's tragic past and a symbol of hope for a peaceful future. Next, we find ourselves in Nara Park, where friendly, free-roaming deer are the star attractions. This park is a blend of nature and culture, housing some of the oldest temples in Japan. Our journey continues in Kanazawa at the Kenrokuen Garden, one of the three great gardens of Japan. This garden is a masterpiece, showcasing a harmony of water, stones, and plants that change with the seasons. We then dive into the underwater world of the Okinawa Chiraomi Aquarium, home to a myriad of sea creatures, including the gigantic whale sharks. Next, we step back in time in Kyoto's Gion district, a place where tradition meets modernity and where you might just spot a geisha gracefully making her way through the narrow streets. Finally, we're back in Tokyo, this time in the electrifying district of Akihabara. Known as the hub of Japan's otaku culture, Akihabara is a sensory overload of anime, manga, and video games. From the sacred Fushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto to the high-tech world of Tokyo's Akihabara, Japan is a treasure trove of unforgettable experiences. Next, we visit Niko Toshogu Shrine, a masterpiece of religious architecture. Nestled in the heart of a lush forest, this shrine is a feast for the senses. The intricate wood carvings and gold leaf embellishments are a testament to the craftsmanship of a bygone era. Just a hop, skip and a jump away, we find ourselves in the vibrant nightlife of Dotonbori, Osaka. A sensory overload of neon lights, street food and bustling crowds, Dotonbori is a must visit for the urban adventurer. From urban to timeless, we make our way to Itsukushima Shrine in Miyajima. This iconic shrine built over the water is a sight to behold, especially during high tide when it appears to float. We then move north to the winter wonderland of the Sapporo Snow Festival. Every February, the city transforms into an icy playground with massive snow sculptures and ice slides. Leaving the frosty sculptures behind, we bask in the golden glow of Kinkaku-ji or the Golden Pavilion in Kyoto. This Zen Buddhist temple covered in gold leaf reflects brilliantly off the mirror pond, creating a picture-perfect scene. We then head back to Tokyo into the tranquil oasis of Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. Amidst the skyscrapers, this garden offers a peaceful respite with its beautiful landscapes and seasonal blooms. 
let's take a time travel detour to Takayama Old Town, where beautifully preserved wooden houses and sake breweries transport us back to the Edo period. Feeling artsy, Naoshima or Art Island is up next. This island is a mecca for contemporary art lovers with its numerous galleries and sculptures. Back on the mainland, we visit the Todaiji Temple in Nara, housing one of the world's largest bronze statues of Buddha. And finally, as we stand amidst the organized chaos of Tokyo's Shibuya Crossing, we're only halfway through our list, and the best is yet to come. The journey continues with the crow-like Matsumoto Castle, a symbol of Japan's feudal past. Nestled in the city of Matsumoto, this castle's unique black exterior gives it a majestic yet somewhat mysterious vibe, a stark contrast to the cherry blossom trees surrounding it. Next, let's take a serene stroll by Lake Kawaguchi. Situated near the iconic Mount Fuji, this lake offers mirror-like reflections of the majestic peak on a clear day. The tranquility here is truly a balm for the soul. From serene to a little wild, we move to Jigakudani Monkey Park in Nagano. Here you'll find Japanese macaques, also known as snow monkeys, enjoying a hot spring bath amidst the snowy landscape. It's a sight that's both adorable and amusing. Our next stop is Kamakura, home to the great Buddha. This colossal bronze statue seated in serene contemplation is a testament to the deep spiritual roots of this land. From Kamakura, we zip back to Tokyo, landing in the heart of the city's entertainment district, Odaiba. Odaiba is Tokyo's futuristic island, a playground of innovation and imagination. Filled with cutting-edge architecture, entertainment complexes, and even a replica of the Statue of Liberty, it's like stepping into a science fiction novel. Next up is Niseko, a paradise for skiers and snowboarders. This Hokkaido town is renowned for its powder snow, making it a winter wonderland that's hard to resist. We then journey to the southernmost part of Japan, Yakushima Island in Kagoshima. This natural wonder is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famed for its ancient cedar forests, some of which are over a thousand years old. Heading back to the mainland, we stop at Osaka Castle, one of Japan's most famous landmarks. Its towering presence and historical significance make it a must-visit site for any traveler. From Osaka, we venture to the heart of Kyoto, to the tranquil Ryawanji Temple, this Zen temple is home to one of the most famous rock gardens in the world. The 15 boulders arranged in the garden are a mystery, as you can only ever see 14 at once. Try as you might, the 15th remains elusive, hidden from view. We then head to Shirakawa-go and Gokayama, nestled in the mountains of Gifu and Toyama. These villages are like a scene from a fairy tale with their unique Gasho Zukori farmhouses designed to withstand heavy snowfall. It's like stepping into a snow globe. Next up, we stroll through the bustling lanes of Tsukiji Outer Market in Tokyo. It's a feast for the senses. The aroma of fresh seafood, the sizzle of yakitori, the vibrant colors of fruits and vegetables, it's a culinary journey you won't forget. Then it's time to experience the power and grace of the sumo tournament in Tokyo. The earth-shaking clashes of these titans, the ceremonial rituals, the intense atmosphere. It's a spectacle of strength and tradition. Our final stop in this leg of our journey is the serene Kiyomizu Dera in Kyoto. This ancient temple offers stunning views of the city and the cherry blossoms in spring. It's a place of tranquility amid the hustle and bustle of the city. From the serene temple in Kyoto, we journey onward, each location more captivating than the last. Next, we find ourselves at the Hakon Open Air Museum, Japan's first open air museum. With a stunning backdrop of mountains and trees, the museum showcases a diverse collection of artworks, blending the beauty of art and nature in perfect harmony. 
Our journey then takes us to Asakusa and Sensoji Temple, Tokyo's oldest and most significant Buddhist temple. A walk down the bustling Nakamai shopping street leads us to the temple, a sight to behold with its imposing thunder gate and five-storied pagoda. We then venture to the stylish Kobe Harborland, a shopping and entertainment district with breathtaking views of the city's port area. As night falls, the area comes alive with glittering lights, offering a mesmerizing panorama. Next, we find ourselves at the Blue Pond in Hokkaido, a surreal landscape. The pond gets its ethereal blue hue from the minerals in the water, creating a sight that's straight out of a fairy tale. Our penultimate stop is the somber Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum, a place of reflection and a stark reminder of the horrors of war. On a lighter note, we then venture onto the Tateyama Kurobe Alpine Route, known as the Roof of Japan. This scenic route through the northern Japan Alps is a paradise for nature lovers, offering breathtaking views and thrilling experiences. Next stop, the neon lights of Shinjuku, Tokyo. This bustling urban district is a sensory overload of bright lights, towering skyscrapers and vibrant nightlife. It's a place where tradition meets modernity and it never sleeps. Now, we're off to Ishigaki Island, Okinawa, a tropical paradise with pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and a rich cultural heritage. It's a haven for snorkeling, diving, and simply relaxing on the beach. Next, we explore the mythical Takachiho Gorge in Miyazaki, where according to Japanese legend, the gods descended to earth. This natural wonder with its towering cliffs and cascading waterfalls is a sight straight out of a fairy tale. We then head north to Shiratoko National Park in Hokkaido, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its untouched wilderness, diverse wildlife, and stunning vistas. Finally, we end our journey at Mount Koya, a sacred mountain retreat. This serene place, surrounded by towering cedar trees, is the heart of Shingon Buddhism in Japan. It's a place of tranquility and spiritual healing. As we leave the sacred mountain retreat of Mount Koya, we're almost at the end of our whirlwind tour. Our final stop is Kochi Castle, one of Japan's 12 original castles. A crowning jewel of the Shikoku region, this castle is a symbol of resilience and grandeur. With its elegant architecture, Kochi Castle stands as a testament to the rich history of the Edo period. As you explore its captivating grounds, you'll feel as if you've stepped back in time. With Kochi Castle, we've reached the end of our top 50, but remember, Japan has countless more gems waiting to be discovered. So, there you have it. A fast-paced, fun-filled tour of Japan's top 50 must-see spots. We've traveled from the towering heights of Tokyo Tower to the historic walls of Kochi Castle. We've admired the serenity of Kenrokan Garden, marveled at the modern marvels in Akihabara, and even got a glimpse of the wild at Jigokudani Monkey Park. We've immersed ourselves in the rich tapestry of Japan's culture, history, and natural beauty. From Tokyo Tower to Kochi Castle, Japan is a country that never ceases to amaze. So, when are you packing your bags for your Japanese adventure?